we have learnt what a solution is in this topic. Now let us look at another type of a mixture. We call it a suspension. Why the name suspension? Let us see what the term suspension suggests. It means to hang something from somewhere, right? And when we suspend something in the air or in water, it basically can be seen distinctly by the naked eye. Have you seen mics which are suspended in the air or a lamp hanging from the ceiling? Well, these are all simple examples of a suspended object. Now, how do we look at a suspension in chemistry? Before we come to this, let's do a small experiment first. Take a beaker filled with water and add some sand to it. Now, stir it for a while and notice what happens. Does the sand dissolve in water? No, it doesn't. Try stirring it a bit more and you will see that the sand still doesn't dissolve in water. The sand will just float around and if left undisturbed, will eventually settle to the bottom. Also, it's clearly a heterogeneous mixture as distinct layers can be seen. Let's go back to the part where the sand just floats around in water. This actually explains what a suspension is. It is nothing but a heterogeneous mixture in which the solute particles do not dissolve but remain suspended throughout the medium. Yes, understand it well. It's a mixture in which the solute does not get dissolved in the solvent and the solute particles remain suspended throughout the medium. So let us discuss a few properties of a suspension. Can we say that the suspensions are stable? No, we cannot because particles of the solute settle down when left undisturbed. A suspension is unstable. Does that mean we can separate the two components of such mixtures? Yes, of course we can. We can use the method of filtration to separate the components of a suspension. In a nutshell, a suspension is a heterogeneous mixture. When a solute is mixed to form a suspension, it forms a cloudy mixture like the muddy water in our example. But when such mixtures are allowed to stand undisturbed, they will eventually settle down. And the particles of the solute can be seen by the naked eye. What if we pass a beam of light through it? As it's a heterogeneous mixture, the particles of a suspension will scatter the beam of light passing through it. So, if a solution is a homogeneous mixture and a suspension is a heterogeneous mixture, is there an intermediate mixture? Absolutely. Do you know what it is called? It has a fancy name and it is called a colloid. We will learn about it in our next video.